Hi, everyone. My name is Tanya Hertz. I am the founder and director of the REC Innovation Lab at San Diego Miramar College. So the REC Innovation Lab is a business incubator. It's focused on diversity, equity, inclusion, helping founders from diverse backgrounds to solve problems by launching those high growth, scalable ventures. And you are one of the few lucky uh, people, entrepreneurs, who have been accepted into this program. And congratulations, it's, it's a big deal. So I was just looking at the numbers, uh, the metrics for, for the REC. We've had over 465 applicants to the program. It was 466 applicants to the program. And uh, so far we've helped 36 founders. So you are uh, a chosen few uh, going through this really innovative, uh, exciting new program. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. I want to talk to you a little bit about what it means to be part of this program and uh, really get you going so you can make the most of this opportunity. There's a couple of videos here. I really highly encourage you to watch those videos to learn a little bit about the lab. Also, look at the resources uh, that we have listed on some of the, the platforms by clicking on these links. I wanted to share this b before anything else. This is, uh, this is based on academic research. This is a valuation of startups and uh, the typical raise of startups when they're raising funds. The REC is for companies that we believe have the potential to scale. And uh, often when I ask founders what they think the value of their company is, they significantly undervalue their, their startup. So no more, no more undervaluing your startup. You need to know what it's worth and what it means being part of this program. So this is based on 5,000 startups who were accepted into an incubator going through a high growth incubator startup incubator and um, at the different stages of development. Most of you are at the pre-seed stage of development. Pre-seed is when we typically raise money from the three Fs of entrepreneurship, friends, families, and fools. Uh, the only people who, who typically give people money at that, at that stage. And I don't know which category I fall into as the director of a program. They're maybe the fools, but uh, no, we, we, do, we do get you money. We do give you resources. Uh, but most of you are at this uh, pre-seed stage. This is when you don't have a functional prototype. You don't have something that you can actually sell. Um, you, you just have an idea. You're working on the ideation. You're working on customer discovery, problem interviews. Your typical raise is uh, less than a half a million. And the typical value at that stage is one to three million. Okay. That's without a product. Uh, the typical value when you get to the seed stage is uh, a little bit higher because you do have a functional prototype at that at that point that you can test with. The typical value there is between three and 10 million with a typical raise of 150,000 to about 2 million. Now, these are for startups that have been accepted into an incubator. So it says something about your startup that you're in an incubator. Uh, without that, it, it drastically changes the valuation. But you can see, your company's worth a lot. <laughs> and um, it really is, it's not even as important that you have uh, something to sell. Uh, we care more about the company and that you're going through this process or learning this process. Uh, all of you are working towards this uh, somewhere around here. Maybe you're working towards uh, an IPO as an exit strategy. Maybe you're working towards um, selling the, the, the company to uh, one of the competitors, whatever it is, uh, we're, we're, we're not starting small business here. We're starting a uh, scalable big business. I've uh, seen it happen again and again and again. My students, they do start these high growth companies. You have that potential. I see that potential in your startup. And so please put in the work that it takes to get you to, um, you know, to scale and to sell. I promise you that more than, let me see, I'll, I'll make a prediction right now. More than 25% of the startups going through the program are, are, are going to, to make it here up into the series A, B, and C at IPO. Right? This, is, this is where I see you guys going. So, and I've seen it many times before. It's based on experience, not just on my, on my feelings. 
Right. So work hard, please. I'm going to put in the effort. I want you to put in the effort too. We're getting a lot of attention. This program is getting tons of attention. This week, I've had two separate angel investor groups in San Diego contact me wanting to invest in the startups that they saw pitch uh, at Convergence last week through the rec. These are our, our startups. They wanted. They want our startups. They want you guys. They want to give you money. They want to... Um, work with you. We're getting a lot of attention in the news. I've been talking with Fred Greer from San Diego Business Journal a lot. He's done several stories on us um, and what we've been doing. Our student founders are winning competitions. They are uh, earning money as part of winning those competitions. They're placing in competitions. They are, are doing big things. And uh, many of them, like these two teams, those are high school teams in the dual enrollment program. So I have, I have tremendous faith in all of your ideas. This is a couple weeks ago in the LA Times, they did an article about Till the App. This company is going to be big, mark my words. They will be the next um, Uber or uh, Airbnb of, of, our, of our time. <clears throat> our partners are doing big things as well. Ambrosio 15, one of our partner organizations, also former student, just was voted best pizza in San Diego. And you'll see again and again, companies doing well. Course Key, one of our mentors at the REC, and these are all mentors. Uh, these guys are mentors at the REC. The others are students. Um, they just uh, raised $9 million in their Series B fundraising, and their company's valued at $40 million. And Luke and Ryan, those are both former students in my entrepreneurship class. And... Um, I, I just, I want you to get it through your heads that this is where you're headed. And, uh, and this is, uh, I believe in you and I'm going to help you get there. Okay. Let me help you. Uh, I know what I'm doing. I just wanted to share a couple of awards that I won just this year. I was awarded for um, the commitment to diversity, equity, inclusion, and helping startup founders to launch their ventures and to succeed. I was awarded uh, woman of the year as a, um, the director of the lab, and I was also awarded SDSU's most influential influential faculty member in um, in entrepreneurship. I'm so proud of all of those uh, awards, and uh, I've been doing this for a long time. I've started startups myself. I've helped a lot of people start startups, and uh, I, I see potential in all of you. And I'm very excited. And I just I hope you know that that's where where we're headed. Um, you're on the path. To, to being there. So uh, we're going to help you turn your ideas from mice to gazelles. And uh, Gazelle is a company that Scalable has uh, a, at least a million ARR plus um, a 20% annual uh, growth rate in those first four years. Um, we we want to make sure that you, you meet the criteria of a gazelle and I can help you through the ideation customer discovery process get there, but you need to do the work and uh, I'll help you. I'll help you. Um, we'll also put you in front of angel investors and venture capitalists uh, to pitch and to uh, to get investments if you'd like. Uh, one thing I will say, I've had a, a few students tell me, oh, I, I want to bootstrap as long as possible. And, that, and that's good. I'm the same way. Uh, but I've, I had somebody say to me just a couple of days ago, or no, that was yesterday. She said, Oh, Tanya, you know, I really, I don't want to raise any money because I don't want to give away equity. So no equity um, fundraising for me. And, uh, and I said, well, even if that's your only option for growth. And she said, yeah, it doesn't matter to me. I would rather not raise any um, funds if I have to give away equity in my company. And uh, I just, just want you to think, would you rather own 100% of a company that's valued at a million dollars? Or would you rather own 50 or 90% of a company that's worth $515 million? Okay, just think about it. Because usually that's the difference when you're talking about uh, fundraising. But don't jump into it early. Uh, your startup, it doesn't matter so much the, the, the business idea as much as it matters everything else that goes along with it. Most of the programs that I see that are bad or just um, not great, is they focus too much on the offering and not on everything else. We focus on holistically the entire business and that's why we do so so well and why we're so well respected by, uh, by the 
by the leaders in the ecosystem. We focus on the business operations, your digital marketing, and your product or service. Um, so we focus on getting your processes in place, your systems, your organization. You write all your manuals. You can't you can't get a government contract if you don't have a manual. You can't even get a contract with me at the rec. And, and I I love doing business with all of you. As soon as you get to the point where you can sell to me, I'll buy from you. So get to that point quickly. Um, but you need to have your, your manuals. And so we do that. Um, we focus a lot on digital marketing. We also uh, obviously focus on what you're selling. This happens every semester. Okay. Um, and how it's broken down is it's broken down by um, once a week meeting to go over what it is we're working on. You can get started if you want early on the LinkedIn assignment. We meet on Tuesdays, uh, except for the returning students are going to be meet, meeting on Thursdays. Everybody else on Tuesdays. I sent out a Calendly, excuse me, not a Calendly, a Doodle poll. And uh, I'm going to try to find a time that works better for everybody because some of you, it just didn't work with your, your schedules. Then we meet on Wednesdays. You're required to come to lab hours. If you can't come to lab hours, if you miss two, two of the eight times that we meet, I'm going to have to let you... Uh, go from the program. It's highly impacted. Like I said, uh, we've had several hundred applicants and we're only letting in this semester eight teams. Um, so uh, Wednesdays we meet for an hour. This is where you can meet with the subject matter experts. We have venture capitalists coming. We have accelerator directors. We have uh, a lot of people coming. I'm late for my meeting, so I better hurry. Uh, and then Fridays you do virtual accountability check-ins. I'm always busy. You'll, you'll learn that about me. You get a ton of resources, about $60,000, $67,000 each semester in resources for you for free. I don't take any equity. None of us take equity from you. All I'm here to do is to make you succeed. You only pay $46 per unit and usually financially will cover that. And in exchange, you get so much. Uh, you get to meet with the lawyers. You get a video, a professional video made. We have, I just got a whole bunch of VR and AR equipment. We've got um, there's so many things. They're amazing. You, you'll learn all about them. Uh, I'll let you look through these resources on your own. This is just a, a sampling of it. Uh, this is when we're meeting tentatively. I sent you a doodle poll. Fill that out. We might be meeting later so that more of you can meet. Right now, I have them set on Tuesdays and Thursdays at three o'clock. High school dual enrollment students at one o'clock not going to work for everyone. So do that doodle poll. Okay. And uh, the lab hours, though, they're going to be, those aren't changing. Just somewhere in that time frame from 3 to 6 p.m., you need to come in for an hour. And, um, and, and we have breakout rooms set up with your business name. And it's your room. It's your virtual office. Uh, I will say this. If you want to meet with me during that time, set up an appointment with me through Calendly. There's a link there. If you want to meet with any of the team, if you want to get Enzo to write an ad for you or help you with a press pitch, or if you want to get Angela to uh, to help you find another mentor or a mentor in a certain field, uh, make an appointment with us through the Rec Connect platform. I didn't mean to click on that and um, we'll schedule that out. This is the platform. This is how you connect. You can go through this on your own and um, take a look at the mentor manual. And if you don't have a mentor yet, you're going to find one in the first couple of weeks. Angela will help you with that. You will. Uh, we're also going to have by the end of the semester our virtual reality lab, uh, pretty near finished. I'm I'm working on uh, the renovation now, and uh, we're putting in this this fancy touchscreen wall. Well, this is what I've, I've asked for. I, I hope. Um, uh, but most of most of the things that I asked for, I've gotten <clears throat> these touch fancy touch screen desks. Um, we've got a bunch of VR stations. I've got all this recording equipment, these big fancy lights for you to do your podcast. We have a huge reach on social media. Take advantage of it. You you can um, you know be part of our. You're part of the rec now. So take advantage of everything that we have. You do need to pick some workshops. This is the link to the workshops. You have to go to at least seven workshops over the eight week summer ses session. Uh, you can choose which ones you want. Go to this one with Steve. He's um, he, he works for uh, uh, us at Miramar. He's our director of um, media relations and he helps us. He helps you get your, uh, you know, be on the news and things like this. And I'll help you too with your, with that. But yeah, he's a good person to know. So go to that workshop. We've had over uh, 25,000 views of our workshops. Uh, 
come to these. This is a great place to meet people, to network. And these are some of our partners. We're always meeting more. Talked to Tech Host Angels earlier today. We're going to have a pitch competition where you're pitching to them. They want to invest in some of your companies. I also talked to Innovation Lab. There's a $15,000 prize in July for a pitch competition that we're doing. And we also have the one of the judges of Shark Tank is going to come in July to watch your pitches and give you feedback. And um, the final thing, I do have uh, one of uh, a local company called, where is the name of it? I can't think of it, uh, da, 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 Logic something. Uh, they're an accelerator. They're coming because they also are really excited to um, invest in some of your companies. So lots of things happening. Innovation City, that's the name of that, um, the name of that um, pitch tank thing we're doing. So orientation is the first day of classes. Here's our contact information. Reach out to us, sign up for the Red Connect platform. I'll send more videos soon. Good chatting with you. I will send more, uh, you know, videos with more information, and I will be meeting with all of you on that very first day. And I cannot wait for it. Congratulations, you guys are on the road. Um, lots of you are going to be millionaires in not a lot of time. So congratulations. I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to watch it happen. All right, bye everyone. See you soon. <laughs>